All right, everybody. I'm gonna show you. This is my first lime boring set. Uh, it's got a lot of homemade innovations to it. I had to do some reconfiguring on different job sites. I had some breakdowns I had to take care of. I will show you this one, and in another video, I'll show you another one. But the majority of this one is all Amazon purchases or Chinese or homemade, whatever I had to do. What we got here, this is the Amazon line boring set. Uh, this one handles oh, two and a half to ten and a half inch bore, if I remember correctly. Uh, you can squeeze a little over two in this one. Uh, if you notice, it has a mag drill mounted on top of it. Reason it has a mag drill mounted on top of it, there is a DC inverter in here. This originally had a DC motor on top of it. The inverter went out and I could not get the inverter for the variable speed in here to drive the motor while on a job. So I had to configure a, another way to do it. So I made a mounting plate. I made a drive shaft, mounted uh, MD40, other Amazon purchase, hole saw or magnetic drill, and this has a 24 to 1 gear reduction, which gives this drill plenty of power to turn my 1.972 boring bar. So, there's a the line bore with auto feed. Auto feed is AC powered. The uh, drive motor for the boring bar was DC. So the AC drive still works. Next in the lineup is, y'all remember the old Titanium Unlimited 200? It has been reconfigured to work off of a bore welder. So it's got some homemade parts from different machines to feed from its original hookup to a European style and also then to feed to the boring bar or not the boring bar to the bore welder now the bore welder is remote activated so that's why all the wiring goes back so I can activate the welder to turn the welder on and off with the auto feed and auto rotation. This kit is a bore welder. This is the auto feed and rotation for the bore welder. And there is the bore welder. Behind that is the 1972 boring bar. Uh, I also have some tooling drives. I have three of these that I manufactured. So if I cannot get the boring bar set up, the line bore set up into a confined space, I have another standoff that I have made that welds to the bearings. And this is a three-quarter shank machine for the boring bar to fit the end of the boring bars. So I can direct drive those two units together with this to complete my bore. Inside here, I'm going to try to see see if I can show you. There is some tooling to hold the bits out. There are two bearings in here. That is one 210 bearing. There's two sets of taper cones. And this is the bearing with the mounting hub to mount the line bore or the bore welder in place so I get a concentric weld. Uh, my kit for tooling... I run two different inter their bits with carbide tips, interchangeable tips. I have two of them. 
couple inside bore gauges um all thread if you noticed i don't know if you saw or not but i have these bolts are in the bottom of this box also these are bolts i weld on and i stand my bearings out with i actually might have one over here yeah i don't think i used that one yet but anyways there's carbide tips in here interchangeables there's there's a stack of 20 23 interchangeable ones uh different set screws for changing my tooling how i want them to stand out and that is a 12 inch slide caliper my six is in the side of the truck plus there's a six up in there uh that is high speed steel tooling those are my T gauges, snap gauges that I use for measuring my bar for my bores. Let's put it that way. I measure off my bar to the bore, times that by two, and add the dimension of my bar to come up with my bore size because I don't have the tooling that fits inside the tool ports of my bar. So I just do a little bit of math. There are four more two inch bearings in there standouts that is more tooling uh, adjustable standouts that is the frame that i mount my mag drill to if i can't fit the line bore in and then of course 100 feet of hose to feed the bottle to feed that animal if i'm not using that setup for bore for welding i'll either bore with my ln i'll either weld with my ln 25 or i'll weld it with a stick uh this works really well when somewhere down the road i will show you my qs 150 and show you that setup and we'll go from there but this was my starter kit and it's still Works very well. Like I said, I had to change some stuff around over here to make it work on a job. I have never gone back to the way that it was originally because I like the more controlled cut off of that. All right, y'all. Have a good day. See ya.